I'm Noreen and welcome to my garden table. This is my kitchen table, but this is an episode of Noreen's Garden. And today we're going to be covering how to make homemade seed pots from trash. Let's see how we do this. started you know what you see on my table here to some of you may look like garbage but you know what I am really bad about not throwing things away if I think that they're going to be useful in fact I have a stack of egg cartons because we used to be able to take these back to my Amish market because the um, the egg branch used to take them back however now they don't do that and so we were told that we didn't need to bring them back anymore. We didn't get anything for taking them back, but we figured if somebody could use them, then that was great. So I like to hang on to these when I can because, you know, they do have uses for, you know, kids' crafts or whatever. But we're going to use them as a seed start pot. And what you do is you just cut the lid off and you cut this little flap off. And then you get something that looks like this. And these are great seed cells. And then um, when you get when you get your your sprouts and you tend to them these will wick away and absorb moisture so if you want to put them in a tray you can bottom water them you can also put them on a tray that's on top of like a heating pad if you put them on a heating pad for like an hour a day just to get that germination going then um, this is a nice insulative material so these can also be broken apart and pop right in the ground you don't have to disturb the roots you can just maybe stick your finger in the bottom of it to give it a hole so that the roots can grow down there. But other than that, it's going to disintegrate anyway once you put it in the dirt. So this is a great thing to save if it's getting close to seed starting time. Like twice a year we have that uh, in the spring, in the early spring. And then now in this late summer, we can start starting seeds for fall. And I have a really long growing season here, so I'm going to start a couple of things. But I wanted to show you how I was going to do that. Toilet paper rolls. If you guys have families, you know how many of these you go through in a week? How many do you we throw away? We all do it. Everybody poops. Right? Mm -hmm. There's a book called that. Everybody poops. So, you know what? You're no better than anybody else. We all have these. And um, I hate to see them go to waste. <laughs> I know. I know. It's 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 a it's it's an issue with me. But you know these can be used in crafting. These can be used for kids crafts. I'm going to be using one for a holiday video and we're going to make something fun and beautiful out of them. But aside from that, these can be used to make a little seed starting pot just like this. And all you do is you cut the bottom a certain way and you box flat fold it together and I'll show you how to do that. Like this one came out a little taller, but no big deal. You take your paper tube, and you can do this with a, with a paper towel roll too, you just cut it in half or in thirds, and then you're going to cut about an inch or so in on the top and on the bottom, and then you're going to do it on the sides as well, kind of make it as even as possible. Okay, so you have your marks. Now I go around and I fold it. This is the scrapper in me. I make score lines. <laughs> These don't have to be perfect. They just need to be done. And then I'm going to take this part up here and I'm going to fold it in and fold it out and fold it in. And that one's not very even, but it's all good. Make it even. Fold it out. Fold it in, fold it out, and the same all the way around. So you have approximately the same, you know, in a perfect world, these would be perfect. But I ain't perfect, so it ain't perfect. Okay, then what you do is you box flap it shut, right? So and my big fingers but it promise you it will work. You just box flap it shut and you force it if you have to. 
just like that. See, that one requires no tape, no nothing. And then you can just kind of put it on the table. And then you can put your dirt in there and put your seed in there and you can water it. I have an old um, nursery tray here. You know, in high season, they're giving these things away. And if you buy a tray full and you end up with a bunch of them in, in your yard, I have a bunch under my potting table. So don't throw you, your trays away. Don't throw these away. They're so useful when you have to carry things back and forth out into the garden. And then the last one I want to show you is the simplest one. Um, it's just a little newspaper pot. You've seen these before. Everyone who's a gardener has seen these before. But they're ingenious and they're convenient and they're very, very easy to make. So what I've done is I've taken... Now my newspaper is a regular standard newspaper that opens this way. Okay? And I just cut it in half and then the fold side I open up and I cut it down the down the fold. So, I don't know, what's that? Five inches? Yeah. About that. Five feet. I just take one sheet of paper, that's all you need. And I fold it down about an inch, like so. Then you flip it over so that this cuff is on the outside. Then I'm using a little jelly jar and I'm using this, the bottom um, uh, thread on the jar I'm using as my guide. And I'm just going to roll this up. Okay. Now I'm going to just take a piece of scotch tape and then put it long ways. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start folding it in on itself. Just like that. And then I'm going to take another piece of tape. That's all you need. And then just kind of twist it into the palm of your hand. And you can slide it right off. Gently kind of mash it down so it sits flat. Fill that up with some uh, starting soil, uh, which is just what I use is, I usually buy a seed starting mix, but you can make some out of some uh, peat moss, a little vermiculite, no soil. You don't want to start seeds in soil. You want to start them in a, in a starting mix. But that is how you do that. Super easy. And then what you can do is you can just, you fill these up with some mix. Just like that. You can put your seed in there. And I have some sugar pumpkin seeds from that volunteer pumpkin that I had. Poke it in there. And then you're going to want to take that outside and water it. But make sure you mark it so you know what it is. Like if I do all of my pumpkin seeds in these, then I'll probably just put a label on the side. But yeah, that's super easy. A great way to use up some things that would normally go in the garbage. So you're doing a little bit of recycling. And I thought that would be helpful for you. There are so many things you can do for your garden with things that you would normally throw away. And... There are a lot of people out there who don't start a garden because they fear that it is too expensive. But when you're looking at it from this perspective, you don't need to buy those little mulch discs that get bigger when you water them to start your seeds in. Those are expensive over time, and they don't really work very well in my estimation. Now, so, once, your, once your seed starts on these, can you just plant the whole thing in the ground and then have it just... You absolutely can. You can just pop this whole thing in the ground because once that paper it, gets wet... Yeah, it'll compost back into the it ground. Will, it will start to compost back in and help your soil make more soil. So, I hope that was helpful. I hope you learned something. And if you have other ideas about what, a, what you can use, leave them in the comment section below. Maybe other people might like to see those if you use something that I haven't demonstrated today. So... I hope you learned something. I hope you loved it. Until next time, happy planting.